I try to throw the food out kind of far so that it doesn't float downstream too quickly. So I would take this board with you. You can kind of hang it on your shoulder and just take it with you. Um, in case when you're feeding the pigs, you know, they try to get up on you or try to swipe you or anything, you have a board that you can use to push them with. And then I also have one over here that you could use in case you've forgotten one. And then there's one on each side of the pens. Um, just because sometimes they try to be testy and I'll like push them with the board to establish dominance. I do feed Lucky a little bit of the pig food and her babies. Usually you can wait until Miss Piggy scoots back and then you can unlatch the gate. Miss Piggy, sit back. Sit back. And then I just pour the food into her bowl. For Russell, just make sure his container is far enough away so that you can empty his water dish. And just pour his food into there. And then just make him sit so he doesn't try to bite you when you open the pen because he gets so excited. So he'll sit eventually. Russell, sit. Or you could throw food like way out there and then you could open the gate if he's not sitting because he might be kind of nervous with you. And after you unlatch it, make sure you put it back on here so it doesn't get all muddy, make you all dirty. And then you just push the door open because he, oh, he seems to block it. Come on. And then you have time to come over here and pull the water out. I usually just rub it with my hand and then dump it out with a little bit of water still in it so that it stays clean. As long as both the hoses are in each of their water jugs, you can just turn the water on over here and It'll fill both their waters. I just make sure I bring back the bowls so that I have them for tomorrow. So the pigs are usually pretty good about staying in the yard. They usually stay over here in this corner, which I like. Um, but sometimes Miss Piggy, the smaller pig, will come over here and swim across the river into the banana trees and she'll find avocados. So um, while they're grazing, I make sure that I come over here and I pick up all the avocados before they find them because if they find them, you're gonna have trouble getting them back over. See, here's an avocado. Um, you're gonna have trouble getting them back over to the bridge. You know, usually you just lure them with tortillas. But if they are eating avocados, they won't listen to you. They won't follow you. So I try to pick them up before they find them. So I just look around all over in this area by the avocado trees and pick up all the avocados.
And the avocados that are by these two trees are actually really good. So I usually just save these for myself. Um, or if they start to go bad, then I give them to the pigs. But the avocados on the other side of the house are not very tasty. So I just let those ripen and then I give those to the pigs. So sometimes Russell and Miss Piggy will cut through this bull grass, walk over here to the banana trees, and pick up the avocados that have fallen from this avocado tree. So I have to make sure I pick these ones up too. So I just walk through here. There's usually some on the floor here. Um, just look around and then once you're done with this area, I hop over this little low part of the fence and I pick up the ones on this side because there's, they usually try to come over here near the road and get the avocado. So just try to pick them up before they find them. So all the avocados that I find on the road that aren't very good, this one or this one I found by the good tree, but it has rat teeth marks or chicken marks, I don't know. Um, I just put them in this box for them to ripen. And then the ripe ones, um, I, <coughs> excuse me, I feed to the pigs when they're ripe and um, as snacks and treats because they'll love you. So if the pigs do come across the river onto this side of the property, you can just throw little, like a trail of food. They love tortillas. Or you could like cut the avocado up in little pieces with your hands and just throw like a trail of where you want them to go, like a trail down this um, bridge, like a trail to the bridge. And they'll just follow the trail of food because they love food. So if you want the pigs to do anything, you just make a trail to whatever you want them to do. Or if you're at the edge of the bridge, you can tell them to sit before you make a trail to their pen. Medical record service. You can even That's email cool. your doctor with questions, schedule appointments at many of our locations, view test results securely, and much more. Not a MyChart member? So you Go just to have to lead the pig ahead. ahead. You have to be Don't ahead of the pig. Sign up today. So that way, you can open the gate, and then he can follow you. Russell Pig! Come here. Russell. Sit. I just hold my hand out. Kind of like this. And he sits.